In this tutorial, I will show you how to turn on or turn off a motor with the help of TIPO5 timer. When the TIPO5 giving the positive cock pulse, the motor is started to run. To do this thing, see the video completely and follow every step. For this project, we need a breadboard. Uh, NPN transistor which is TIP122 100 microfarad capacitor and long term runner is the positive of the capacitor 500k variable resistor R55 timer IC 2 diodes A single LED long term runner is the positive a 1k resistor and a 220 ohm resistor a dc motor with propeller finally we need some wire first connect the triple 5 timer IC in the middle part of the breadboard in pin 7 we add a 1 kilo ohm resistor and opposite side of the resistor is connected in positive field and pin number 4 is connecting in positive field and pin number 1 is connecting in the negative rail short pin 4 with pin 8 of the IC and connect pin 2 with pin 6 of the IC in pin 7 we add a wire and opposite side of the wire is connecting with a port which is variable register and mid pin of the port is connecting in the pin number 2 of the IC a positive terminal of a capacitor is connecting in pin number 2 and negative terminal is connecting in pin number 1. Pin number 3 is the output pin which is connected with a wire. Positive terminal of a LED is connecting in the pin number 3. Now ground the LED with 220 ohm resistor. The anode terminal is connecting in the pin number 3 and cathode terminal we add 1 kilo ohm resistor. An opposite side of the resistor is connected with a base pin of transistor. Collector pin is connecting in the positive rail of the breadboard. In emitter pin, we add a diode cathode terminal, anode terminal in the negative rail. Now connecting one of the motor pin in the emitter and another motor pin in the negative rail of the breadboard. Now connecting power in the circuit. Here we can see when the triple five timer activate, it started. The motor is started to rotate. During off time, the motor is off. We can control the duration of motor start time by changing the resistivity of the port. So, if you like my video, then don't forget to subscribe my channel. See you in the next video.